Hello, hello, I am back with another video and today I want to talk about sifting through your thoughts. Sifting through your negative thoughts in your journey, you're going to realize first the foundation of it all that you got to understand about sifting through your thoughts is that you are thoughts, God, you are consciousness, right? And so this is why you are told in your physical reality that you are God having a human experience. So it's like you're God personified, right? And so since you are personified in this avatar body, this avatar self, only 0.01% of you is your physical essence. It's like 99.99% .99 of you is that consciousness, right? Is that spiritual side that is people call your higher self, your subconscious mind, your human imagination, your inner being, your energy, all of those names is your 99.999% of your experience, right? So this is why everything in your physical reality is a reflection of your thoughts because it's merely your conscious mind because God gets everything that he or she wants. The blessings of God are yea and amen. So your life, whether beautiful or not so good, is an expression of your thoughts. The way you change your life is by going within and changing your mind and letting a new mind be in you, right? So sometimes people, especially water signs, they have a stumbling block with this here, controlling their thoughts. And I'm, I'm not saying nobody else don't have it as much as water signs. Other signs could have it too because we are all consciousness. But I say the water signs because the water signs element I mean, the cancers, for, for example, their element is water. And water, we all know, holds memory, right? And because water holds memory, it holds on to the memory of thoughts for eons and eons, right? But if you ever paid attention to maybe on YouTube, how they do tests with water and, and teach you how water is alive, and the water that is spoken to with positive energy it's put in the freezer and it turns into like a beautiful snowflake or something really pretty. But then that water that was spoken to with negative energy, you put it in the freezer and it looks sad. It becomes chaotic energy, right? So th this is very important to know and understand about your thoughts. And that is a beautiful way to control your thoughts by speaking a positive thought on top of the negative one. So say, for example, I woke up today and I hit my toe on something or whatever. Immediately, maybe some, you know, if I was at my lower self, I would be like, oh, crap, that hurt. This is going to be a crappy day, so to speak, like, right? What if I had that thought after I hit my toe because it brought me to a lower frequency and lower vibration and I just got a little discouraged? Well, me speaking that word, me putting energy into that thought will allow other thoughts to come piggyback on it and it'll bring me down a spiral of more negative thoughts. So controlling the thought would be more like, oh, it really hurt. Oh, my foot really hurt, but it's going to be okay. This is still going to be a beautiful day. Yeah, that was just a stumbling block. It's Monday. I'm still going to the gym. I'm going to work out. I'm going to eat good today and I'm going to sit out in the sun and I'm going to send off some orders and I'm going to do my consultations. I'm going to inspire people today because I need it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm purposeful. You know, I have things to do and, and I am my own stumbling block if I sit here and entertain negative thoughts, right? So that's one way you can do it. Like you talk to that thought. You tell, you tell that thought another thought. Or another way you could do it by sifting through your thoughts is you could totally ignore that thought. Like you hit your um, toe or whatever and you went to spiral down negative thoughts. You could be like, what's for breakfast, babe? I, I smell the food in the kitchen and you just walk out the bathroom when you hit your toe and go in the kitchen and be like, what's for breakfast? And you totally switched to another shift of thinking. You put your mind and your attention to something else versus the pain that you were experiencing, the mishap that happened that may have been a stumbling block or a negative thought, right? This is another way you can do it by 
calling your thoughts another name. In the beginning of my journey, I used to have this lady in the physical reality that was crazy to me, in my opinion, right? She just had crazy thoughts. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. But her name, let's say her name was Anne. I would say in my mind, if I had a negative thought, a thought like if something I thought maybe wasn't going to work out, if I had that thought, that something wasn't going to work out, I would literally say in my mind, oh, that must be Anne. That must be Anne's thought because that ain't my thought. Anne is crazy. Anne don't believe in nothing. And what I'm doing here is I'm assigning that thought a name, a person. I'm giving a person to that thought so that thought won't embody me. That thought will be separate from me. I won't own it as mine. Because keep in mind, we are tapped into infinite intelligence, all things, all thoughts. So I could just assign it to her and be like, yeah, and crazy and negative, but I know all things are working out for me. And that'll keep me in alignment with more positive ways of thinking because I'm not, I don't think like Anne. No, I don't think like Anne. So that's some ways you can sift through your thoughts by assigning them another name, right? That's outside of you, by changing what you're thinking about completely and start thinking about something else or by lightening the blow of that thought and not giving it as much power by giving another thought life which is a more positive thought and this is what you're gonna have to do in your journey with them thoughts because guess what them thoughts not going away and the final thing is letting the thought flow like doing nothing like if the thought comes like something said something negative and just keep on about your day because you just sometimes in your journey you create resistance when you try so hard to not think about something and you you sit there in your misery or your depression and be like why am i having all these thoughts what is wrong with me nothing because everybody getting them and as you as you grow in your journey of consciousness by no longer giving them that life to play out because you're god you're breathing life into everything your physical reality if you no longer give life to the thought then the thought loses its power so if you, if you were like once upon a time scared of the booger man or whatever in your thoughts and then you start to shift your thoughts when you you know maybe when you thought the booger man was coming out at night and you, diff, you shift your thoughts and start it listen to music or you shift your thoughts and be like man boogeyman ain't real every night that boogeyman per se is losing its power so much so to one night you're gonna go to sleep and you're not even gonna think about the boogeyman no more this is how little children i grow boogeymans and in, in bad experiences per se is that they realize that giving their thought to something else or suffocating that thought help them along their journeys the only help that they can you know find they realize that maybe sleeping in in the room with with mama and daddy help them get their mind off of that you know they realize that playing with their toys now they don't have to worry about the boogeyman no more you learned this i honestly learned this when i was experienced the so-called boogeyman as a little girl but my boogeyman as a little girl was really my higher self speaking to me part of my gift right and so my thing was i unknowingly at that moment i was ignoring or running away from my inner being that was calling me that was speaking to me in my dreams like they still do on this day right so at that time i began to ignore it and it went away it went away for a long, long, long time until I got into my spiritual journey and began to understand that, wait, hold up. This isn't as negative as I thought. This is not the devil. This voice is really telling me good things here. This voice is my inner being here speaking to me, speaking life in me, telling me not to give up, inspiring me to keep on going in my journey. So that's another thing too. If the voice is not telling you anything negative, 
if the voice is guiding you, if the voice feels like a gut feeling, that's the voice you really want to pay attention to now. Now, you don't want to ignore that thought and think it's a negative thought. That is your inner being. That is your 99.99% of you that's on the other side in the spiritual essence guiding you and assisting you. That would That is what people call their ancestors, their angels, you know, God or the Holy Ghost if you're in religion. Yeah, and it flows naturally through you because it's in you. It's part of you. <laughs> so, nonetheless, I really wanted to talk about sifting through the thoughts because a lot of people that I consult with, they have issues with this part here, controlling the thought, old thoughts from when they were a little girl or old thoughts when they didn't think that they were good enough, when they had a low self-concept. But you have to master this thought by thought by thought by thought. You have to do this in order to be a deliberate creator instead of creating by default. There's a difference. Creating by default is just you just going out that door and just wondering, oh, I wonder what today going to be like. I wonder. Meanwhile, you God. You God in physical form, walking out the door, wondering what today ain't going to be like. But when you're a deliberate creator, when you know how to sift through them thoughts, you done already told your day what it's going to be like. It's going to be fun. I'm going to have a good time at the gym. I'm going to have um, all these orders when I come back to go shipping and I'm going to ship them out and I'm going to have all these consultations and I'm going to love what I do. And then I'm going to have some me time and I'm going to sit in the sun and that's going to be beautiful. And all the hummingbirds are going to come and oh, I love me some hummingbirds and I'm going to eat a delicious vegan meal and I'm going to be hydrated and everything just going to be flowing with ease. I'm going to meet some inter interesting people today at the gym in along my errands i always meet interesting people they gravitate to me because i'm a magnet yes i am i magnetically draw everybody to me that i need or maybe sometimes they need me maybe they just need an inspirational word of the day and i'm just gonna be that person to help them shine their light yep that's how my day gonna be because i'm god in human form having a human experience and that's what i order for my day i'm not gonna walk out that door and i know what my day gonna be like because I don't create by default. And you should get to a point in your journey where you're not creating by default. When you woke up this morning, you should have already told your inner being the things that you are grateful for. The, the way that this day going to be, you should have been living in the end of the wish fulfilled or whatever it is that you were wanting, God, in an effort to draw it closer to you energetically. Because mm -hmm. this is your thoughts. This is your kingdom, God, right there in your head, your consciousness, right? So you don't have to associate yourself to every single thought that you have, God. You can renew your mind. You can renew your mind and get your mind in alignment with the thoughts that feel good to you. Because that lets you know when you are in alignment with your higher being, when it feel good. When all when you're walking around, you know how they have them people that take them antidepressants and they just be on cloud cloud nine and you could kind of like see, oh, they must be drugged up because you know they don't really standing out. But when you can really just walk around on cloud nine in your mind, like so eager and ready to explore the day, because your thoughts have already been sifted through, and you ain't got no chaotic ones making you feel sad, making you get out of alignment. Because we are so choose, I'm free to choose, God, that we can choose being out of alignment all day. We can choose being out of alignment for a whole lifetime if that's what we choose to do, God. But when you become a deliberate creator and realize that you are merely a consciousness in this physical reality, experiencing itself, you put your consciousness to work to experience itself with joy, with peace, with well-being with ease, with love, with flow, God. Flow instead of resistance, instead of fighting against all of the currents of the nasty thoughts that you can kill because you're God. You give life and you can take it away. So when you get serious about your journey and your consciousness, you decide, God, that I'm no longer giving life to the thoughts that are no longer serving me. I'm gonna call that thought crazy and I'm going to turn that thought into a positive thought. I'm going to ignore that thought. <laughs> I'm going to do whatever it is that I have to do with that thought, to even just to go general. Even if I just turn the music on and just let the music play and I begin to dance, to keep my thoughts at an elevated point of being. 
But I'm not going to fight with that thought and create resistance and say, oh, why me, thought? Why you keep coming to get me, thought? No. No. I'm going to just own that thing. I'm going to cast that thing away in some shape or form. Because it shouldn't be vexing me. I should be calling the thoughts to come to me instead of running from certain ones. I should be calling forth magnetically. Show me. Show me what love feels like. That's how you call the thoughts that you want to experience for. Show me a good day. Show me inner being that you are guiding me. Show me what joy feels like all day today. Show me what laughter feels like. I want to laugh today. I want to laugh all day. I want this to be a fun city day. Show me what a fun city day feels like. You can command that to be for your day, God. Once you realize that your spoken word and your consciousness is really all that's running the show here, <laughs> you can call things forward. Instead of calling forth a, a busy day, oh, we're going to be, it's Monday, I'm going to be busy today. Oh, really, God? So shall it be. Oh, it's moon day. I'm going to be in my emotions. You know, you know, energetically, it's moon day. And the moon is tied to the feminine energy. So I have to be in my emotions today. Oh, really, God? You can't have a balanced day? You can't have an energetic day? You call for a moon day? A feeling day? Oh, 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 we're always busy. I, I, don't, I don't like Mondays. Oh, it's hard to, to, you know, the weekend better. It's hard to get up out of the bed on Mondays. I'm dragging the day. Oh, I got to have my coffee or I ain't going to be nothing today. Oh, really, God? How that go? You, God, hooked up to infinite intelligence and you need coffee. <laughs> Y'all funny. You need coffee to start your day off, huh, God? If, you're, if God, your what you look at as source energy was to come down, if, especially if you are in religion. Imagine this here scene, and then after this, I got to get up out of here. Imagine this scene. You believe in God, and some of you all believe in he, a man upstairs is on the throne, sitting down, and he have a butt, and he have arms, and it's okay. I'm not picking on you, but let's just pretend that that is real, like, right? Somebody up there sitting on a chair with the gold. He got a gold chair, and it's a big chair. And he got the pearly gates and he got the gold stairs like some people in religion believe. And let's say, for example, he come and crack the sky open right now. And we could see the chair and we could see this man. And I don't know, I guess he's going to be a white man. I don't know. And he's sitting in a chair with, the, you know, and all of the doves flying around. And God, the person in physical form, the person that you've been praying to and you've been believing in, right? To be so powerful. If God said, wait, hold up, y'all. I can't get up out of this chair until somebody give me some coffee. <laughs> How would you feel? How would you feel about this God that you've been served? Like, God? You need coffee? The hell wrong with you? Or better yet, what if he, what if he got up out the chair, got his coffee, and then he started coughing? <coughs> How would you feel about God having coronavirus? <laughs> coffee. Needing coffee to get energy. Right? You kind of doubt that God that you thought that was so powerful and that run this universe and that that you was bowing down to, right? Well, guess what? You that's how I think of you. You're God in human form. <laughs> You have everything that you need already inside of you. The world is yours. The world is responding to your thoughts. The world is responding to how you feel, God. Don't, 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 don't come forth in physical form <laughs> and sit on your blessings, sit on your power and think you need coffee, think you, you, you need others. You have everything you need right here and right here. Your thoughts are electric God and your heart is magnetic God. You have an electromagnetic form of energy 
at your beck and call. So anytime them thoughts come forth and they are not the thoughts that you want them to be, change the thought. Don't associate with the thought. Give it a better thought. And thought by thought, once you become great with this here part, you are a master manifester and you are no longer creating by default, God. You are an intentional creator and everything in your life will be thus said the Lord from that day forward. So get to working. Thank you a good day. Count it all joy. Know that things are already working out for you. Know that you're a magnet. Know that we're about to get off this live and we're about to create the next thing that's going to happen. Ain't going to be no surprises today because we already called the day to be joy. We already called the day to be love. We already called the day to be full of laughter and meeting amazing people today. And so shall it be. It ain't going to be no different because we're God and we spoke the word. We already felt it because we already said, what does it feel like? To have laughter. What does it feel like to have a beautiful, amazing day? Show me that since I am all mine, since I am all consciousness. Show me that. Allow me to feel that. And since I'm thinking that and feeling that, I'm God, so shall it be. This is how you run your kingdom, God. Thought by thought by thought. And don't you forget this. When you forget, it's like you own a bike with training wheels. You better get yourself back up and get to pedaling again. And quit complaining that you're falling off. So what? You're just remembering who you are. Get back on the drone of God again. And have fun, yeah? I gotta go. I'm gonna work out. This video was from my heart to yours, baby. The Nail Showroom, I needed to hear this, thank you. Yes, you are so welcome, baby. You are so welcome. Hi, IMV. Thank you all for being here. I'm about to go, I gotta work out class. Ultimate conditioning, boy. I'm about to, I'm about to have some guns, y'all. My legs and my arms, I'm trying to tone them up. <laughs> okay, I gotta go, bye. <laughs>